America's nuclear energy plants are performing at their highest level of safety and productivity in their 50-year history. A key factor in that success is that nuclear plants undergo constant inspection and maintenance. At the top of the Vermont Yankee reactor, you'll find a steam dryer, where tiny water droplets are removed from steam before it goes to the turbines. The steam dryer is hard to get to, making inspections a real challenge. The steam dryer uh, is a challenge because of its configuration. Uh, it is, it's so large, there's probably an acre's worth of uh, metal that you, that you have to inspect. Workers at Vermont Yankee partnered with Arriva NP to find new ways to make inspections of this hard-to-reach area easier and earned an industry award for their accomplishment. Their award-winning innovation involves using more machines and fewer people to accomplish the task. And these aren't just any machines. It's truly a first of a kind using these tools. And we are looking at the steam dryer much closer than we could ever look before. Both the inside and outside of the steam dryer has to be inspected. Before the plant had this new technology, Vermont Yankee had to inspect the outside of the steam dryer with cameras mounted on long poles. To inspect the inside, they used cameras attached to submersible devices. The inspectors wielding the long poles got in the way of other workers, and the submersibles were hard to control. And the quality of the images from both techniques wasn't as sharp as desired. The new way uses remote-controlled rail and trolley systems operated from outside the containment area. Not only is the platform inside the containment area less crowded, inspectors are exposed to less radiation. And remote-controlled underwater crawlers provide much higher quality pictures of the inside of the dryer. I would envision that most of the boiling water reactors have probably already contacted them or will be contacting them s soon to find out uh, specific details about the project that they put in place and the project that they executed so successfully. It, it gives, I think, the public um, a good feeling that uh, th there are people who are dedicated to their jobs and they're uh, not just at their desk, they're out looking for new technologies to uh, run this, the same plant that's always been there, but uh, looking at it uh, in this day and age with all the technology that's available now.